This playthrough is rated T for teen. Time to head to the final, well, one of the final, I guess the next to last, like, sealed runes location in the game, as well as a continent we kind of uh, ignored for quite a while. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, I'll be back here with another episode of Ark the Lad 2 in the last episode. We finished Balbalard's sealed runes and got the monsters there. But now we let's go back to Zarabon. And yeah, I've been skipping this one quite often. It's now a good reason to finally go here. There's a couple of things we can do here that I missed before. Um, maybe we could check out the different... Actually, I think I showed off the wire shrine before, but we can go to the Salem Desert, um, go into town, which I'm going to do here in a, a second, El's Ark. Uh, we can finally do the sealed runes now that we've gotten the Balbalard things. Go in the Ryan runes. And then we got the Saryu tribe runes, or Saryu, and then we got Ishimi rocks. We can check out as well, but let's head to El's Ark and do a couple of missions, and then let's uh, see if we can get started on those sealed runes as well. This, the mission shouldn't take too long because I'm actually a bit overpowered for it because I should have done these a lot earlier. Um, I think it's after you finish the Grey Shine continent you can do this, but the desert is expanding and consuming all around us. Soon I believe El's Ark will disappear as well. Lovely. Love to hear about that. You know, when your whole livelihood is just being eaten up by sand. To sand, you say. Goat, milk, date, and flowers. Dates and flowers. You want to have some dates? Oh, how may I help you? Now let's see what you got. Uh, yeah, nothing really. Out of the way here. Basic stuff. Yeah, just double checking. So, yeah, nothing. I wonder if, there, I wonder if there's a tree that can grow in this town. Well, that's the desert, right? Uh, I don't think there's any straight-up trees that can survive in a desert environment. Usually it's like stuff like cactus and stuff like that. Elzark is only popular because of the power stones. Romali would ignore us if we did not have them. If only. We are all happy that Kazdol is gone, but we are left paying the price for his avarice. He was from the previous game, I believe. Yeah, let's check out the uh, Hunter's Guild while we're here. Let's see. I've been so bored I actually considered digging in the sand. Yeah, I heard that there was treasure in the Seri ruins, so I was going to uh, follow up. <laughs> I told you to comb the desert. Have you found anything yet? We ain't found crap. Anyway, let's check out the enemies here. Maos, all right. Tasman. Uh, Chevalde, Chevalidol, or whatever. And Zanak. Yeah, this should cover the, ro the most of the monsters we missed, because I skipped Zarabon. So, um... Maos will get pretty soon because he's in the sealed ruins, but the others we have to um, go to some of the battle areas and uh, missions. So, yeah, this and then there'll be like one more monster and we'll be complete with all the uh, uh, monster bounties. Just between you and me, I'm thinking of leaving this town. The weather here is just intolerable. Yeah, it would be with that jacket you're wearing. Jeez. Did you come to find a job? Sure, I'm always looking for a job. Yeah, let's check and see what we got here. So, we got Stop the Desert Thieves. Robbers and Misro have been ravaging the ruins. Before they damage another site, stop them. First, gather information in town about where they'll appear next. And uh, Misro isn't that town in Nidel. We don't have to go there to check it out or anything like that. That's just a misnomer. It just means they're from that place, but doesn't mean we have to check it out or anything. I don't know if I ever did that the first time I played the game, but some people would you assume you'd have to go there to find out about their location. The sun's quite strong around here, so be careful. All right. Sand, sand, sand! I'm sick of sand! Well, I mean, you live in a desert town. I don't know what to tell you, lady. That's up to you, I guess. I've been thinking about a lot about moving this... Oh, that's right. That. Wait, didn't we, uh... Yeah, we already did this. So why is she still saying that? We already sold your house, dude. Yeah, whatever. I mean, we've done the quest. It's officially done, so I don't know why she still says that, so. Doesn't it seem odd that such a barren land would have a water shrine? I bet this country used to be covered with less green only long ago. That's what they say about a lot of countries that are now desert, that they used to be lush, vibrant places before whatever happened happened, so. Once Zerabound was a thriving country full of life, Kazdal's greed changed all that. Once placed here by Romalia, he raped this land, and now he raped it. We all are left here to suffer. Well, I, I said what I said, so. Oh, yeah, I think I need a rest, actually, too, now that I think about it. Oh, no, I guess I rested off screen. Never mind. It's very hot in Zarabon this year. But at least it's the dry heat. That's true. 
I live in a I live in a place that can that has humid heat. Holy crap. At least in a dry heat, there's a difference type of different type of feeling. You know it's hot, but there's not like that I don't know, there's just something about the sensation about humidity is I think worse than dry heat. Hey, what are you doing here? Breaking the fourth wall, are we? Well, I mean, realistically, that's what someone would say, but usually games usually like to make fun when they have a character mention the fact you're in the room. You know, kind of like a bard's tale. You know, they, the first time you smash pots, everyone's like, what are you doing, jerk? You know, I like that game. I don't care what anyone says. Even if it's a discount uh, Baldur's Gate. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. Thanks for that. Thanks for the information there. Yep, nothing here. You know, it's like no one's been saying anything about those uh about those thieves. Yeah, perhaps a good rest of the end, but let's take we keep looking around first before we do that though. So you're tough to use, so I've seen I I I've seen none of the Seriu since the camp was destroyed. Well it's cause they're all dead. Alright, let's take the bar and see if we can get drunk. There are many strange and dangerous types that flowed through this town. Perhaps villainy, villainy and deceit have come to replace water in this land. It's a hive of scum and villainy. Thieves? Yes, I've heard. They seek to plunder the water shrine now! Oh. Should we go to the water shrine then? Oh, welcome. Why don't you, you... We don't have tourists here often. Please make yourself at home. Okay. Thieves work only during the night. Oh, so we need to sleep then. So are you a village? That ruin is only home to monsters now. I think I could have straight up uh, slept without actually talking to these guys, but this basically says, hey, they're talking the water shrine, they do it at night, go to sleep. Water is no longer flows from the water shrine. I wonder if the water guardian has left this land. Yeah, he has. Sorry. Hello, care for a drink? No. I'm a teetotaler. No drinking for me. The well is almost run dry. I'm afraid there's no water here. There ain't no water here. I don't know where it's going with that. I think I was trying to make a reference or a joke, but didn't didn't even work. Oh, I meant to spend the night. Sorry, that's what happens with you. Oh well, I, okay, never mind. I guess you get the same result either way. Or maybe spend the night means you stay up or something like that. Anyway, there must be a great treasure inside. Why don't you go first? Okay, come on. Wait. Robin Sacred Sites is not very nice. A, a hunter. He ain't gonna take us down. Get him. Get him, Ray. But anyway, for a boss music? Huh. Seems a little odd, but okay. Sure, we'll fight you with our best units. Now, right, let's take a look at these guys. Yeah, we got some Dark Paladins and uh, some weaker cohorts but we'll need to search them here in a second so but that's why we got Lisa for so actually I didn't actually show this off last episode let's show off happy beam anyway it's that yeah it gives them all all the abilities gives them uh, let's see gives them a like attack up throw up catch up um, resistances to all spells, or, you know, against all element types, uh, attack up, yeah, um, shield up, yeah, it's, it's crazy, it just does everything for you. I don't know if it does your stats specifically, it just gives you the spell equivalent, so yeah, Happy Beam is a pretty good beam, you give it to, like, you know, someone like Tosh, you know, and, and uh, I still did a ton of damage before, but he's even more awesome. And of course, we also got one other tactic, so... And actually, technically, I don't even need to do a, a battle thing on them because I did Happy Beam, so... Yeah, with this, with these power units, uh, D could be a really good uh, buffer. The only problem is he can only buff one guy, but it's every single stat, so, you know, no matter what it is. Even though technically the best stats in the game are, or best buffs are what Poco have, which is the attack up and speed up, but uh, hey... Having defense up isn't bad at all, so... Yeah, jump up, uh, jump is included in that, so you could cast on Gogan so you can actually move around more effectively, you know? Yeah, Gogan's a good character, it's just his jump skill never improves no matter how much he levels up. There is an item that allows him to jump, that would increase his jump. 
Um, but I already combined it with the uh, Romancing Stones to make the full one. Because Romancing Stone 1 increases your jump by two levels. Uh, but um, I decided to merge them together. But there is a way for me to get get that stone back if I really want to uh, through duplication. And one day I'll go over duplication and how to take advantage of the uh, game system in this case. Uh, yeah, we'll hit this one. Yeah, nice, uh, nice area for uh, big stat blocks. But anyway, here we get the, the Dark Paladins are 48, by the way. Uh, we also have Berserkers at 48, too. They're Wind Elemental. They have 25 Attack, 10 Defense. They have 169 HP, 62 MP. You can use Swords and Axes, the Battle Axes. But yeah, they're basically just versions of the Dark Paladins. So but they can cast Charge and Protection. So, um, yeah, let's just magic them up. Why are the mountains screeching? Maybe that's supposed to be when they hit the enemies. That'd be kind of funny if the mountains started screeching, you know? They're like, ah, quit, quit blowing us up! Quit blowing us up to make faces of your dead presidents! It's not cool! Even though I like uh, the Mount Rushmore, I think it's a, you know, engineering marvel. But I can see why some people would have some issue with it, though. Smacked him good. With the sword of Democles. Damn! Let's get out of here! Hey, he ran away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cowards. They won't be back. Or will they? Dawn is breaking. We better go back to town. Why not? We could check around some more, I guess. But, uh, no, no. Alright. Let's, uh, let's get a reward for... Uh, our effort. Oh yeah, probably sleep too. Why not? Get all. Even though we didn't really waste that much magic, but in this game, if you if you can heal up completely before a battle, why why purposely hamstring yourself like that? I mean, it seems unnecessary, really. But that's up to you. If you want to play, if you want to, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I mean, I could. Anyway, let's uh, turn in. Oh, let's get the bounty for that. So, yep, we're almost close. Uh, only uh, 11 more jobs to go to finish that too. So we're getting close to the end of the game. I mean, we still got quite a, a few, quite, uh, quite a few major sections to go through, but we're we're getting there. <laughs> Man, I didn't realize how long this series is gonna be. I knew this game was long, but I, I, I you know, when you look at the episode count, you kind of put you into perspective. Stop the Desert Thieves, Part Two. Received information that career thieves plan to pillage the Raiden ruins, stop them permanently this time. Yeah, they said they ran away, but you know they just they just didn't know what what uh what hit them this time. I think in this case, I think we could just go straight to the Raiden ruins because um, uh, previously it said uh, you had to you know search for information about the the thieves, but let's see. Oh, uh, the desert just keeps growing and growing. If it doesn't stop soon, this town will be swallowed by the sands. If I have to choose, I'd rather be swallowed by alcohol. Ugh, get fermented like that? Sand, sand, sand. It's growing all around us. I hate sand. It's coarse. It gets in everything. The water in this country is terrible, but alcohol is terrific. Why don't you have a drink? Yeah, these guys have different dialogue now that we're not doing that quest anymore. Eh, let's see. Water no longer flows from the water shrine. Oh, okay, now that's the same. It's area village. The is only home to monsters now. Okay. Let's go to the Riot Ruins so we can take care of that and then we can show some of the Zarabon uh, um, ruins and then I can go monster hunting next episode. Complete the rest of the monsters that I skipped the first time while I was here. So, Now where are those chuckleheads? Drop everything. You're done robbing sacred ruins. Yeah, they belong in museums. Your mouth is run ahead of your ability. Anyway, yeah, we get Zanuck in, uh, in, um, uh, part of this, so. You make a nice trophy for my mantle. Whoa. He brought a lot of dudes with him. But anyway, let's just, you know, just bring the party we want to use. Da -da 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 -da. All right, yeah, we've got uh, more Dark Paladins, like quite a few of them, and Xanak is just another Dark Paladin. 
nothing unique and special about him at all, other than he's got raw mind. But okay, but they all have raw mind, so yeah, nothing special about him. Thanks, game, for that. So all right, cool. Um, I almost want to see if I can get death to go off, just to show it off. So now yeah, let's see how many we can kill with death if we can. Oh, they all blocked. Why does this show a, uh, you know, an uh, English uh, monk there? I don't know. You got me, game. But yeah, they all blot the death spell. Well, it is a low probability, so it's not guaranteed. Even our, even though our levels are higher, there, there's by quite a bit. So. Yeah, one of the few battles you can basically get a pretty good, uh, um, like group attacks on enemies, especially if you have a high enough speed, you know. Yeah, we got the Senior's Wish by defeating Xanak, and that's it. Yeah, we beat him quite easily. Even if we hadn't um, been over -lover, we would have beaten him pretty quickly anyway, so. See if I can show the Senior's Wish. Yeah, it's an item, increase your defense. Uh, not by much, though, so not a very big item, but hey, that's why he drops, so cool. Yeah, let's get a Whole, whole lot of weak enemy on there. Yeah, yeah, weak enemy. Yeah, might as well bust, buff myself up since we didn't do Happy Beam. Happy Beam! <laughs> and you all can't move because there's too many of you there. He asked us a question, and I don't like that. I don't like the answer to that. Yeah, since they can't move past us because the their speed, I guess, is faster than the Dark Paladin. So, oh yeah, the, it, it pro if if you played Arthur Light One, this map probably seems recognizable. Like just uh, if you did uh, the if you did the mission where you try to the side quest where you try to clean up the deserts for the Water Guardian. Um, this map would be very familiar. Uh, yeah, I'll do that again. Just to hit all of them. Yeah, a few times in the game where you're gonna hit like a, actually fill up almost filled the whole like range of your spell if you cast it like that. So it's a nice, nice little change of pace. Yeah, right. Tosh being there kind of breaks a lot of things, or arc being in his way. You know? I'm almost wanting to give a uh, have Deke or yeah Deke do the uh, um, his uh, paralyzed one to do quite a bit of damage, so I can get experience for him. So because these guys are already pretty weak, so why not why not give it to Deke instead? Because he's not gonna really level up a, anyone else really, not at this point. So. Yeah, let's cast Paralyzed Wind. That yeah, killed quite a few of them. Now we're just going to have to wait for the animation for them to all die. Yeah, technically if we didn't fight a new enemy or a uh, wanted monster here, I probably would have skipped this fight because we already seen the monster. But I guess I wanted to show off that you can, you know, be able to hit so many people with one spell is, is nice to have every once in a while. Doesn't happen too often in this game. Because usually they, they give us a reasonable amount of monsters, not like an ungodly amount like what they did here. So <laughs> Almost done, folks. They've all fallen in on themselves. I feel sorry for you. But we must we must kill you to move on. Man, we get a battle axe. We've got a few battle axes. I can sell those. Because they're nothing special that I care about anyway. I guess that unicorn and shell helps sometimes, but not that I really needed those the battle axes, but uh, Yeah, I guess we'll just melee go with these guys for the rest of the damage. Uh, there you go. There are too many monsters. Let's get out of here. Too many. I mean, there were, but we beat them pretty easily. 
Eh, if you say so. Well, now what? Is that it? The job's done? Job's done. Well, let's take a look at it and see if they uh, we get the bounty for that. Oh, yeah, we do, so... That's it. Yeah, we just kind of beat them. They say there's too many monsters. We run, and that's it. Okay. Hmm. That's a bit of bit anticlimactic when you think about it. But we, though we did beat the boss, so I guess that technically counts. So. All right. How many more left? Yameos, Schweidel, and Tasman. I wonder if that was named after that for the Tasmanian Devil, even though it doesn't look like him at all. But. All right, well, now that that's done, I'll do, like I said, I'll do the monster hunts next episode, but let's start the, uh, let's start the, uh, sacred runes so we can get those power units and beef up, uh, beef up Deacon even further. Because we want, we want Deke to be super, oh, wait, do I need to heal? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, well, let's see, let's see what we got here. I don't think I need to steal anything in here, as far as I'm aware of. So I could give the uh, Romancing Stone to her. Now yeah, it's equipped like a yeah, the Metal Defender. Give her the Romancing Stone. Because uh, this is one of the few dungeons that has healing, sort of. But I'll go over that here in a second, whenever we, when we actually go into the actual thing, so... Uh, yeah, let's do Deacon, everyone. And like most of the uh, dungeons, it, there's usually like one or two monsters in here. So let's see what we got. So yeah, we I think we this floor should have two different. Uh, oh wait, no, there's the other enemies on the another floor, the mutant flies, which I think we fought them before. So uh, let's see. Yeah, just pop in the middle and cast invincibility on myself. Let them, uh, let them eat cake and come after me. Come after me! And of course, Deke's gonna get blocked by all of them. Did he just throw a pyramid on me? How? The guy is either really tall or it's just a, a mini, a mini pyramid. Nothing to really worry about here. We ain't got pyramids around here. No, sir. I just gotta wait for him to slowly crawl towards our location. Here we go. Step by step. Inch by inch. Wanna do some buffing? Yeah, I do like Invincible as a as a tank ability because it gives you a reason to just kind of run in the middle of the fight. So, oh yeah, Mummy, since they're undead, they have the obviously they'll uh, let's see they'll do the whole one HP thing when they're dead. Oh, by the way, you can't go into Zaraban sealed ruins unless you uh, um. Let's see, okay. Unless you've gotten the power units from uh, the previous area. Yeah, nope. I guess we'll just leave. I wonder if I could, uh... Yeah, I want Deke to be in front, so... Yeah, nope, not enough damage. Oh, well. Maybe if I've had a uh, battle, battle drum on, I would've gotten it, but... Then again, I do want Deke to kill the mummy to get the experience there, so. Yeah. Since he has, seems to have trouble killing monsters, apparently. But he can take a hit like a champ. Right on the nose. And what a nose it is. Kind of looks like the. I wonder if his design is based off the Tin Woodsman from Wizard of Oz. Because he does kind of look like the Tin Woodsman. Just a smaller version of him. Who knows? I, I mean, I know quite a few Japanese developers are fans of American uh, American media, so who knows? Especially like uh, what Dragon Ball creator Kira Toriyama was a really big fan of. Uh... Actually, let me heal everyone. 
Um, was a really big fan of like James Cameron movies, which is the whole inspiration for the trunk arc, trunk arc was because of Terminator. So, yeah, anyway, magical went up. Nice. Claudia, Claudia, Claudia. Yeah, I don't know why I did that one specifically. I just hate the middleman. You know, no one ever wants to deal with the middleman. Yeah, I guess we'll start uh, hammering in the message. Let's see, I have paralyzed winds. I got a strength of fruit. I'll probably end up just throwing it away. We'll see what happens. Like I said, because of the way this floor works in terms of uh, healing is a bit different, so. Might be better just to keep it. Although, now that, because I have the romantic stone on a, on a Lisa, it might not might not really matter since I can heal no matter what so or regardless of the cost so I got a weak enemy this guy is just because of the uh, yeah I guess we'll just I'll just do that one because of the uh, cost of the spell so well, well, AI well. is just like nope not going around not even going to consider it why would you think we would even go around that other sarcophagus to fight the enemies we'll just wait we'll just step in line oh yeah I could just equip the deke uh, the deke gun for this Oops. there we go Yeah, I guess I'll heal again just because I can do it whenever I want. I can do it all day. All day long. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem with attacking from the front, so. Yeah, there go. I like how they flail their arms when they jump after you. It's like, like a, yeah. I don't know. This is what it feels like to me. And talk about throwing the kitchen sink. In this case, the pyramid. All right, Deke, show me what you're made of. Hit him. There we go. Oh right, I forgot the Deke and so on. I gained a level, nice. All right, let's see what we've got around here. It's like a uh, treasure chest. Oh, oh, the Rager. Let's see what that gets us. Uh, just recovers HP, so nothing, nothing to cry home about. Wait, why would we cry home about that? I don't know. We're not wussies, but are we? Are we wussies? Anyway, let's head to the next area. Or two, or B B one, I mean. All right, then this four has uh, mighty flies on it, so or mutant flies. Sorry, I don't know why I said mighty fly. Um, we fought the mutant flies from a previous dungeon for uh, um, in Ball uh, Ball I believe. Or, uh, oh, here's the the uh, switches I was talking about, the ones with the lightning bolt. They have a chance to possibly completely heal your HP and MP, so something to consider. So. Uh, I was trying to think of I wanted to show uh, uh, wanted to show this fight because technically I've already shown it before, but this is a different episode, so it's not the exact same encounter. Eh, probably better just to skip it since, like I said, they don't. I think the level's the same too from the previous. Episode. They might have a maybe one or two levels more than. Uh, oh, I forgot what his alternate shooting options and just squirting goo on them. It's like. Bleh. Which is still weird that the attack animation is, uh, oh yeah, I guess I could have jumped on that just to show you what jumping on it actually does. Like how that works. Yeah, let's show it off. So, yep. 
And he, yeah, see, as you can see there, there's his magic and uh, and everything's healed, so. Yeah, nothing too over the top, so. It's so weird that the mutant flies cry like that. I don't know, just something about that just sounds a little off. And like before they have a... Yeah, it's guessing this whole game. Just to get them to attack Deke so he can get experience from just counter-attacking. So. Yeah, too bad Deke can't equip the... Stuff other than the power units, like maybe equipped armor and stuff like that. But then again, I think they, I think it. Uh, he, God, he's just not gonna hit any of these guys, is he? Um, I think it does even out though. Like him only being able to uh, only equip the power units because, like I said, his overall his stats are pretty good. He just tends to miss a lot. That's all. Actually, would that even make him a really good unit if he keeps missing all the time? But. Well, then again, I've had pretty bad luck in this game with enemies dodging, hitting, and all this other stuff, so. Oh, yeah, I guess I got a weak enemy, those guys, but. Oh, well. D can handle a little punch, a little, uh, bit of the grind and punishment. too much magic. So I'll just give him the credit for that guy. Just put just put all of his put all his machinist goo all over them. That's not vulgar at all. Oh yeah, kinda of moved it up on to get that, that one guy in the back. But it wouldn't have hit that one mighty mutant flyer in the right. Yeah. No, not your dark breath. It's just a dark breath. Now, now people hit worse. Oh no, we were hit pretty bad as it is. So what's the difference? Oh yeah, I need to equip back the uh, melee you know, just because you get more training points if you uh, use the the deep punch, the one we've got here. Oops. Oh right, you can only do that on on that character's turn. I completely forgot about that. Damage to us. Yeah, I'll do that. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do that one. Oh, I forgot to put the deep punch. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna do that much damage to me. Oh, probably should heal too. Man, I'm, I'm thinking about all this stuff after I attack. Yeah, it does, I'm not a very great tactician now, am I? I'll give the kills to Deke and Lisa, even though Lisa doesn't really need the don't doesn't need the levels anymore. But but I don't know. Just I always feel like she's behind, even though she's not really that far behind from the arc crew, but. And a chance to increase her short sword st skill, even though she's not supposed to be attacking really that often. All right, let's see what the, these treasures hold. Get a tomahawk. And where's the other item with that cell phone? And the Sarissa. Let's take a look at those. Tomahawk, tomahawk, tomahawk missile. Yeah, it's got an attack of 26. So yeah, if you didn't find the zebra axe from before, not a bad option better than like the drowned axe which i need to remind myself to sell that so or no never mind i, I still need that one I, it's a com combined item i need that other that's why i haven't sold it yet that's right and what do we get the sarissa um pull let's see 
And it's a dark element, so if you're worried about light elemental creatures, but not much in the way of damage. And it's not a combined item, so I'd probably sell it. But uh, what awaits us uh, further into the sealed ruins? Will we uh, find the treasure of our dreams? Power up Deepbook to the max? And what about the monsters that are left? Find out next time in the next episode of Ark the Lad 2. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.